opening day festivities wrapping up. And we'll be back to get this season started right after this. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the New York Yankees. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. All right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, Happy New Year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things going. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And pitching here today, Whitey Ford. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. Ready to go? Here's the veteran outfielder, Monty Irvin. San Francisco. The left fielder, Monte Irvin. Two and one now. Ford, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. And fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Garrett on the move. And it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you not too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And now, Orlando Cepeda. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. First and second, no outs. Willie Mays, the next giant to hit. And one and two. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, Confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Next offering way upstairs. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And digging in for San Francisco, Willie McCovey. And now it's one and two. Got him. And there's two away. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. So first and second with two outs. Now it's J.D. Davis. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Next pitch is outside. First and second, two down. Oh. 
And that's Ooh. ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boyd. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Bases loaded, two down. Next offering is downstairs. side oh what a stop throw to first and very nicely done for the out that was a great job of doing the math he had the perfect angle diving stop completes the play and that ends the inning welcome back and towing the slab christy matthewson singy always a treat when we get to watch him work true legend in this game with over 300 career wins always a joy to watch him go to work it's effortless we out go there go. doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve doesn't know when he's high or when he's low ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping in for the yankees alfonso soriano next pitch not close up high ball in there for a strike <laughs> in the air right field Hanniger has a beat on it Hauls it in for the out. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the oh, opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Willie Mays makes the play. And there's two down. Nobody goes back on a ball better than he does. That is third, the designated hitter. Babe. Two outs, base is empty. And now the DH, Babe Ruth. Big time power. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And a ground ball to first. He steps on the bag, and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go in order, scoreless after one. Here at New Yankee Lee Stadium Dunga. in the Bronx. And now the shortstop, Brandon, Brandon Crawford. Crawford. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park. And then at, what was it initially? Pac Bell Park. The wind of the pitch. Whoa, that one missed. There. 
And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't Pretty even much to think about. Gone. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Wilmer. Flores. The next offering misses. Two balls and a strike. Crawford gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swings and misses. Two and two. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that could be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? This is Joey Bart. Kicks and fires. Fouls one off. Two and two. and misses it's a strikeout the left the left field, number and 20. up next for San Francisco Monty Irvin he's sitting on 99 career homers we'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100 next offering is in for a strike That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. No score here in the second. Struck him out looking. So the Giants leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning. Now, Derek Jeter. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And next for New York, Lou Gehrig. This guy has turned into a beast. Left-hand hitter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. At the belt and fires. Slow ground ball to the right side. Fires to second for one. Double play. That was some defensive wizardry. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. Here's some real power at the plate. Mickey Mantle. Right hander kicks deals. There's a swing and a drive. Oh. That'll fire up the dugout. The Yankees score first. It's Excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the back that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And now, Curtis Granderson. 
Hard hit right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium, and now the first baseman, Orlando Cepeda. Orlando Cepeda. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. On the ground. Throws to first. One up, one down. The center fielder, number 24, Willie Mays. Here's a speed threat, Willie Mays. His first at bat was a strikeout. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Ball to strike. Good eye right there. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Judge makes the catch. And there's two down. The bat number 44. Designated hitter. Willie and now it's the Giants McCovey. DH. Willie McCovey. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Two outs. And there's a ball. Check swing, but he went too far. And now two and two. Two down, nobody on. Three, two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And now the lefty spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Giants go down quietly. They trail here, one nothing. Back for more from the Bronx. Set for the bottom of the third. And now the right fielder, Aaron Judge. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average but there's on base and slugging too. So now one and two. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Tosses to first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's the catcher, Jorge Posada. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. That one misses in the dirt. That's a strike. I think it was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. The 
Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right now there. Just a low 90s crazy. fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Not an order go to Yankees. But they're on top, 1-0. Back in New York, John Chomby with Chris Donna. Singleton. And the set to lead off the fourth, seven. J.D. Davis. JD. One one now. Swing and a miss. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Next offering upstairs. Now in this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Stays alive. Three, two. This one popped up. One down. Now the right field. Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger, the next giant to hit. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. The pitch. In for a strike. That's strike two. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Next pitch misses way outside. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. The wind of the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Brandon Crawford. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. That's Good eye right there. That's hard hit on the line. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Giants down in order. They still trail one nothing. Here's DJ LeMahieu. The third baseman. DJ LeMahieu. On the ground, right side. Slides. He's got it. Onto the pitcher. And that's a great play for the out. The designated hitter. 
Now it's the DH, Babe Ruth. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. Out there to center. Mays has it sized up. Hauls it in. And there's two away. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked no into matter. the store the next day and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? <laughs> that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. On the ground, right side. Cepeda He's takes out. it himself, gets him easily, ends the inning. Three up, three down that time. We played four. Yankees won and the Giants nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. The 1 1. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Two down. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joey Bart. The 1-1. And there's the strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. One, two. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And he deals. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And yeah, there's ball four. Ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. So digging in, Orlando Cepeda. Be careful with this guy. He's got power, he can untie it with one swing. Here comes a pitch. That one lifted to left. Granderson raging back towards the wall. Brings it back on a leaping catch. Wow. Well, we just took one away from one of the best in the league. It's not going to happen very often, but when you get the opportunity, better make the play, and he did right there. And up next for the Giants, Willie Mays, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Snap throw to first, and he's back in on a dive. Irvin, the runner at first with two gone.
Next pitch yep, misses oh, outside. Yeah. Now two and two. And here it comes. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Dolly's been in a very giving mood today. First and second, two outs. And now it's going to be Willie McCovey, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Next pitch is downstairs. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Next offering way off the plate. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Bounce back to the mound. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big-time costly mistake there. Bad time to throw one out of play with the runner starting on second as it allows him just to walk home for the run. Remember, on a ball thrown out of play, the runners get the base they were going to plus one more. So that was basically an automatic run. So two down. Now it's J.D. Davis. He's 0 for 1. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. In the dirt. But no advance from the runners. Activity in the bullpen. Number 97 appears to be getting loose. King getting loose as well. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back in the Bronx, Leading we head to the bottom of the fifth. Game. And here's the first, the first baseman, base. Luke Eric. Singing, he's a guy that covers yeah, both yeah. sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Next pitch is popped up. Davis gets there. He's under it. Puts it away for the out. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice now ride that, up in the zone right it. there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. On a line out towards center. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all yeah, over yeah, it. But yeah, sometimes yeah. you hit it too hard yeah, and right at someone. Yeah, Looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Curtis Granderson stepping in now for the Yankees.
Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. One, two, three, go the Yankees. And they trail it here, two to one. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Michael King. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Well, one run game and digging in for San Francisco. Mitch Hanniger, the outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brandon Crawford. Righty delivers. In the air, left side. Granderson. Has this one sized up? Two away. Up next, next, John. next to hit, Wilmer Flores. It was a homer for him back in the fifth. Just a solo shot, but an important swing in this game. Yeah, and it was a beautiful swing as well. Everything just came together timing-wise, and he blasted it out of here. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a foul straight back. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Nothing doing here this half. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Giants 2 and the Yankees 1. Bottom of the sixth inning. Leading now it's the right the fielder, game. Aaron Judge. The right fielder. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against it. The pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. Got him swinging. Wow, what a pitch for the strikeout right there. Bro, he placed that oh, screwball on the catch. inside, and man, that thing moves a ton. That's a unique oh, no. pitch. So tough to throw. You don't see many guys throwing that pitch, but if you can put it right there against same side hitters, almost impossible to handle. Next to hit, Jorge Posada. In the dirt. Slings the first, two up, two down. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the batting order turns over. Alfonso Soriano stepping in now for the Yankees. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Payoff pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Yanks held in check. They're down two to one. Back at Yankee Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Giants catcher, Joey Bart. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Next pitch misses way outside.
In the air out towards right center. Mantle drifts towards it. And it's caught for the out. Now that left hand. Monte. And up next for San Francisco, Monty Irvin. One for two. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Comes a 2-2. Tapped softly on the ground. Soriano gloves it. Fires over to first. And two away to start the seventh. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Two outs. Base is empty. Orlando Cepeda digs in now. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. They still lead it 2-1. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. And things could change quickly here with one swing. And the righty deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Man, he's been really good. About to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held off. Next offering is fouled back. The tying run at the plate. Ground ball left side, and that one finds its way through. Off to a good start for the leadoff now. Man, that was a pretty good battle to play. And I'll no tell problem. you, it feels pretty three. good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. Very Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Here comes the manager out of the Giants dugout, and he will make a move to the pad. Christy Mathewson done for the afternoon, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming up. We'll be back in a minute. The new pitcher in the game, Taylor Rogers. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now up as the Yankees DH, Babe Ruth. This guy with light tower power. Next offering is in for a strike with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Two strikes and downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. The kick, the 3 2. And that is ball four, and the Yankees are in business. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. And that'll load the bases. Bases loaded, nobody out. And up next for New York, Lou Gehrig. 
Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. The count two and one. And now two and two. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. The 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Flores. That's one. And a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run. But in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Stepping in for the Yankees, Mickey Mantle. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch. The other way. And that should be extra bases. The run scores from third. It's 3-2. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. And it's scored position with two away. Curtis Granderson, the next to hit. Man on second, two down. Just a slow ground ball this time. Whips it to first on the run. And the inning is over. A couple of runs in the inning puts them ahead. We look ahead to inning number eight. Yankees three and the Giants two. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Goose Gossage. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Now, some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Gossage. Gossage ready. Ball. Strike two. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Movement in the Yankees pen. Mariano Rivera preparing to come on if needed. Gossage deals. And another ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That's out to center field. Mantle under this one. Makes the grab one down. The back. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Willie McCovey. Corner infielders guarding the lines. Trying to prevent extra bases. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Now fly ball to right center. Mantle under it. He's got it. There's two away. J.D. Davis, the next giant to hit. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The wind of the pitch. And it is two and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Goal in order. Giants are down one, two, three. They're down three to two.
So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Johnny Brebbia. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. It's Aaron Judge now. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Good eye in that spot. Last couple of pitches breaking balls Three away. Ball. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The wind and the pitch. The other way, and he beats the shift. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Jorge Posada stepping in now for the Yankees. Kicks and deals. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Righty to the plate. And yeah, that's outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. They say it went. Right-hander deals, spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Up the middle, there's one, and it's a double play. Pretty lengthy at bat right there, and usually the hitter wins that battle after seeing so now many pitches, but Second instead, pitching. the exact opposite, or maybe even worse than that, Grounds into a double play. Tough at bat to swallow. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Alfonso Soriano. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. So they turn to their closer, Mariano Rivera. These are the spots where Levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Mitch Hanniger getting ready to hit. The entire defense, infield and outfield, shifted to the left. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. At the belt and fires. That one hit to right. Judge really on his horse for this one. Here comes a pitch. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. deals. Pitch misses, and the count is filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Mantle moving back for this one. He's got it. 
And there's one down. That's a big first out right there, and that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism has shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Got him looking. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Here's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. He's already homered in this game. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Career save number 653. That's just unthinkable. That many saves. This guy has been the most dominant closer the game has ever seen. A true legend right before our eyes. 3-2 the final score. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long. For the victorious Yankees, three runs, four hits, one error. They left just one runner on base. For the Giants, two runs on just two hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.